Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Steven's Sound. My name is Steven Iovino. And today is a little different. Today we are going to talk about why EQ? What is EQ? Why use EQ? Well, that is very interesting. Um, as you can see here, I am on channel one. My mic is plugged into channel one. It's a uh, SM58. SM58. <laughs> And um, today I'm going to show why use EQ, what does it do, and what is the importance of it. But first, please remember to subscribe to my channel, Steven's Sound. I am trying to um, expand my business to YouTube, so please go ahead and subscribe to Steven's Sound. If you are in the Tampa, St. Petersburg area and you need someone to run live sound for your event, or venue, please contact me on Instagram at istevenI7. Now, let's explain EQ here. So what EQ is, is manipulating certain frequencies in a sound. Now, on the X32 rack, the Behringer X32 rack, it is a four-band parametric EQ. Now, what does that mean? Parametric EQ is essentially just expanding or subtracting the width of a certain EQ and choosing which frequency you want to manipulate. Now, there's four bands because there's a low, low mid, high mid, and high. Now, you're going to see what this means here as I manipulate. There's also a low cut, which we'll get into right away. So, the X32 rack comes with the four bands and there's a low cut. Now, with vocals, what I'm using right now I like to initiate a low cut, and you can also use a low cut for anything that isn't a bass instrument. Now, it's also called a high pass because it lets the highs pass, but for some reason, I've caught on to the, the cut terminology, not the pass. It just makes more sense to me, but you know, to each his own, to each his own. But we're gonna go here and let me just show you real quick what EQ can do. So here is the low cut. I'm going to initiate it. And as I bring it over, notice how in my voice, the low frequencies are going to start to disappear. So notice how that just hacked off a bunch of the low end. Now where I put a low cut for a vocal at is around here, around 100 and maybe 125 to 100 hertz. And that is going to cut out a lot of unnecessary low end that you don't really need in the vocal. Now, what you wanna do with EQ is you wanna hear. You want to hear in the vocal what is going on. So you really wanna assess what is happening. So as I said, you want to assess the frequency of the the sound you're hearing and how I'm doing that now as you can see I've inserted my headphones here um, and I soloed the channel so I can really hear on my headphones what is going on in the mic so as you can see as I alter this low cut you're going to be able to see that a lot of the lows are coming out and as I bring it back you can really hear the lows now I will put the low cut here usually so that's how I start the vocal now, in a lot of spaces, this might be ideal. You know, this might be all you need. But let's also alter here. I, I'm hearing some, and this is where I usually put it, I'll hear some, you know, low range, low mid range kind of sound. And I want to take out um, some of that, some of that low. And you really, you can use the RTA. The RTA meter is these, these blue lines here popping up. You can use that, but I would recommend really just using your ear and kind of tuning in on what frequency you're trying to hear. So this knob all the way on the right is going to choose which band you're altering the EQ. And to initiate the EQ, to activate it, you have to click down that button. So the EQ is now active. So let's go to low here, and I'm going to cut out some low mids here that I'm hearing. Um, it, doing this step will usually clean up the sound a bit, the punchiness of it that you don't really need. So I'm going to go to about 300 around here. And then what I like to do is 
really turn up what you think is bad. So we're really going to turn up this part here, and you can really start to hear some nasty stuff right around here. Check, 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 check. And this is where I would probably, you know, take it down here. And if we do that, and then you adjust your cue here, that is the width of the frequency. That's going to change how much is being impacted, how many frequencies surrounding are going to be impacted. But yeah, I'm going to mess around with it a little bit more. Check, 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 check. And that is around the area that I think is going to be okay taking out that zone. And then another thing I usually do on vocals is I'm going to take out some 2K-ish, and that, that area can definitely get a little nasty. So we're going to go to high mid, I feel like this third band, and I am going to take it out around here. Put up your gain. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Bring it down. Check, 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 one, two, check, 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 one, two. And this is probably where, let me go back to the low. Maybe change that a little bit. Check, check, one, two. Now, this vocal with the EQ I've done, I think sounds pretty good. And we can compare it to it off. So, this is with the EQ on. Let's take it off. Let's deactivate the low cut. Check, check, one, two. So, this is the original signal I had. And then we're going to activate our EQ. Check, check, one, two. And I think with the EQ activated, it just sounds a little bit better, a little bit tighter and uh, more crisp in my opinion. But thank you everybody for watching my video on EQ, why EQ. Um, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Steven Sound, and follow me on Instagram at iStevenI7. Um, it, like I said, if you are in the Tampa or St. Petersburg area, I do live venue mixing. I can also do recording remote or in person. But like I said, thank you, everybody, for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel for future content like this, Live Sound for Beginners. If you are an expert in Live Sound, please also subscribe and comment because I could really use your advice as well. But um, thank you, everybody, for watching, and have a good day.